Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with some kimchi dumplings. Yikes. Kimchi dumplings and some instant cold chewy noodles, aka bibim naengmyeon, and I just garnished it with a little bit of cucumber. Um, I do have a little bit of soy sauce and uh, vinegar just for just to use it as my dumpling dipping. Um, but that's actually it. Um, I actually, I was craving this yesterday. I wish I had it yesterday, but um, I didn't. I had to go, you know, get groceries today, so it's a day late. So I don't crave it as much, but it'll do. Whew, I can't sit very close to the table. My stomach is in the way. Okay, let's eat. If you guys never had um, those spicy instant noodles, either it's like Korean brand, Japanese brand, you know, American brand. If you could do spicy chicken sandwich, you could totally do this. Um, my spice tolerance is pretty low right now because I'm pregnant, and I haven't really. Um, I don't usually eat too spicy food regularly anymore. Well, past nine, eight months, I have not. Um, so if I could eat it, you guys could eat it. <laughs> Just in case if you wanted to, I guess, try it out. I love how these instant noodles are so available now in stores. Mm. 
I mean, it's still hard to find these specialty, like a little different noodles at an American store, but like, you know, like jinna, not jinnamyeon, like noguri, shinnamyeon, and udon, those are pretty available now. You can find them anywhere. You know, when people ask me about, you know, like, how is my pregnancy or like, what week are you on? And this is, and, I mean, this goes to all my like, friends and like, even like the nurses and the doctors. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm like 32 weeks. And they're like, oh, my gosh, time flies, huh? I'm like, no, it really wasn't that fast. Like, it was hell of a 32 weeks. It felt really slow. Part of it is also like. Okay, that kind of like it did feel like yesterday where I told friends and family that I was pregnant. Um, when Dawn was still like doubting if I was pregnant or not. Um, so it was, it was, if in that sense, it did feel like it, it go by pretty fast. Um, but this, now that I'm at my finish line, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard. I want to like give up. On certain things like I don't I actually like had a few raw oysters the raw oysters the other day and I've seen some like actually a handful of pregnant women that eats like raw sushi and like raw things like raw seafood you know it's not that you can't have it it's just that the chances of you getting a food poisoning or like stomach ache or whatever is pretty high that's why like a lot of they tell you to avoid it but I really wanted oysters and everyone was everyone at the table was having oysters. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just have two. So I ate two oysters and it was like the best decision of my life. So like small things like that, like stuff that I know I shouldn't be doing, like I shouldn't be lifting too heavy. I shouldn't eat certain food. Like me right now at this point, I'm just like, I wanna give up. Like I just don't care anymore. I just gonna I wanna eat whatever I want. I recently bought this korean like salted raw squid it's called ojingo jud right uh, it's spicy but it's it's marinated it's salted and it's red i don't know if you guys ever seen it or tasted it but it's raw i mainly i bought it because tone likes it and i want I wanted to, you know, I told you guys, um, I make him breakfast and like I pack him his lunch and all that. So I got it for him, but here and there, I just kind of like take one out and just eat it. So in a way, I feel like I'm failing, like I'm so close to my 40th week, but I feel like I'm like kind of letting go of a lot of things and I don't want to, I want to finish strong. Um, so I've been just kind of trying to like, stay more calm and focused uh, i don't know if you guys felt that way because in the beginning first trimester you're so careful um and you you know you're just more super cautious right first and even second trimester but for me this third trimester is just like i'm just gonna do everything that i'm not supposed to
Beautiful. I really want to fit in one more round of golf. But Tong is pretty against it. Um, he's really afraid that I'm going, to, I'm going to be in labor during our round. Or worse, actually deliver the baby <laughs> in the middle of the golf course. But I'm like, I am aware that um, certain exercises and certain food and certain things could induce labor. But from the last time I went, it wasn't like that bad. That's why I want to fit in one more. You know, Tong always hears me like making noises across the room or across the apartment. Like I'm always just like, oh, oh my God, you know, kind of thing. It's either I'm getting out of bed or I am getting up from a chair. It just, whenever you know, I'm uncomfortable and I make, it just, you know, because of pregnancy, I get really annoyed. And he'll be like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I tell him like, Tong, I really am done. I'm so over it. This sucks. And he's like, just think about all the stuff that you can do after you deliver the baby. I'm like, that's what makes it worse. I still have to wait eight weeks for that. Um, I do want, I really want to stay strong minded. Um, not only throughout the pregnancy, after pregnancy, and go like in so forth. So I recently uploaded a video on my, or my recent video on my vlog channel. Uh, I did a bump date and I look huge. And um, I think it's because also I mean I think maybe I'm like normal to maybe I'm the bigger side I don't know, but usually I take these I take these videos. Or do a bump date after I have like pretty like decent meals. So maybe that's why it looks bigger. But um, last time I went to the doctors, which was a few days ago, I measured 33 centimeters. And they were measuring my stomach. They said they want they want to see like um, it kind of matched a week. So if you're at 32 weeks, they want to see like 32 centimeters. I am at 33, but it's not concerning because it's 32 33 you know like she said if i was like like 29 centimeters or like 35 36 centimeters okay she'll be a little more more concerned and they'll do more like test but 32 33 i'm pretty normal so um so far i'm pretty good with that um yesterday i don't know why i had a really good night's sleep besides the whole bed Besides the whole bathroom thing, stop, stop. Uh, bathroom thing, like I sleep pretty well. Like you know, a few weeks ago, like mid twentieth week or so, I was suffering from really, really swollen hands where I couldn't sleep on my sides because it would cut the circulation and like my arm, hand, entire arm will be numb and just tingly. It was almost too painful to sleep, but I thought it'll only get worse. But I actually got a lot better like a lot better so i've been sleeping really well on my left side it's the most comfortable position i've been told that a while ago but it didn't really make a difference for me but now it does after 30th week or so i start sleeping more on my left side it's most comfortable i breathe better better my like my body feels better if i sleep on my right side or on my back i do feel like i'm not as I'm not breathing as well. Um, I it does feel like it's something in my body is like not like like uh, flowing well. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so yesterday I slept pretty well, so I'm really really happy for that. Um, you know, like you guys, I'm sure you guys know, but I'm trying to get all the sleep before the baby comes because you know, apparently you can't sleep at all. Um, I love sleep. I'm so cranky if I don't get my full like eight hours sleep. I get so cranky. But let's see where this goes. <laughs> I am so close to the finish line. I am getting there. <laughs> I am very excited. Um, and if you guys are on the same journey as me. Hey.
if you guys have longer way to go then good luck <laughs> you're getting there it'll pass <laughs> if you are uh, if you are closer to the due date than I am then I'm very jealous of you <laughs> lucky you hope you have a very smooth and healthy delivery uh, right now I'm just counting down weeks um, but uh, I feel like my last month is only gonna get busier so I'm, I'm excited for that uh, hope you guys enjoy another mukbang and I'll see you guys in the next video make sure to check out my vlog channel and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye guys